Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Mathis, I'm a developer advocate at Timescale, and today I'd like to talk about integrating Timescale Cloud with Datadog. If you've used Timescale Cloud before, you will know that you can inspect your service's CPU, memory, and storage utilization by going to your Timescale DB service and clicking on the metrics tab. Here, you can see a simple overview of what your service is doing. But in some cases, this is not enough. Whether you have other metrics on Datadog that you want to visualize alongside your Timescale Cloud metrics, visualize the metrics of multiple Timescale Cloud services together, or want to set up alerts, we have you covered with a new Timescale Cloud Datadog integration. Do note that an integration for AWS CloudWatch is also available. In this video, we'll cover how to set up your Timescale Cloud Exporter and integration alongside your Datadog API key and metrics dashboard. To follow along with this video, you'll need a Datadog and Timescale Cloud account. If you don't have a Timescale Cloud account, Go to timescale.com and get a 30-day free trial. So let's get started. In order for our Postgres exporter to be able to send the metrics to our Datadog metrics dashboard, we need to create an API key and add it to our Timescale Cloud integration. So we first want to create our API key, and you do that by going here or pressing Command K and then looking up API key, and this will bring you to a screen where you can create an API key. So we'll press on new key over here, and we'll call this uh, Timescale video test, for example. We'll create this key, and then it will give us the key ID and the actual key. We can click on copy key. Then we'll go to our services inside Timescale Cloud, and what you want to pay attention to is the region of your services. An integration and service have to be in the same region for them to be able to be attached. Uh, so we know here US East 1. Uh, we'll then go to integrations here, the tab on the left, and click on add exporter. Here we want to select Datadog, and select our region. We know this is US East 1. Obviously, there's other regions. Uh, then we'll name our exporter, and we'll call this um, timescale test, for example. Then our Datadog API key, which we just created. So we'll paste this. And then the site. So in my case, that is US 1. And you might have to look at your Datadog dashboard to see which one you're in. Uh, we'll click on Create Exporter. And then in our service, we'll click over here. Then go to the Operations tab. Then to Integrations on the left. And then we want to select an exporter. So this is a Datadog exporter called Timescale Test. This is the one we just made. We'll attach the exporter. And then we'll go back to our Datadog tab and go down to Metrics Explorer. And then over here, under Metrics, we can click on uh, resources.cpu.usage.nanocores. And this will show us uh, the resources used by our service. And then here in the from field, you can query out the service that you want. Uh, and you get your service ID by going to your Timescale Cloud tab, clicking on Overview, and then the first uh, part of your host is your service ID. So we can go here, select Service ID, and that is vel2jb15. And then this will filter out only that. So as you can see here, we have a little bit of history. Now we're going to generate some load inside our Timescale DB service and see if it works. So first, we're gonna create a simple table called test with a text and an int field. And now we'll put in some hashed random text and a series. So we'll do this, and we'll do this a couple times to generate some kind of meaningful load. And then as you can see here, we went from using about 5 million nanocores to using about 500 nanocores. And with this Datadog metric, you can do some other cool stuff like adding it to a dashboard or adding metrics or create alarms. That's how you set up the Timescale Cloud Datadog integration. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time here at Timescale.